Not all shooting disciplines require the need to crank your turrets up and down on a regular basis, but in a world where we are constantly trying to push the limits of what our rifle systems can do, many of us are finding that we are relying more and more on the mechanical capabilities of our rifle scopes. At Element Optics, we realize the need for features that actually make things easier out in the real world. And the last thing that we want is for one of you to be lining up on the buck of a lifetime and having a panic attack because you've forgotten which revolution of your turrets you're on. To make things easier, we've included a removable zero stop in all of our 2020 rifle scopes. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how that system works. The model we're going to be looking at today for this demonstration is the Element Nexus. It's our flagship model, but the mechanism works exactly the same on our Titan and Helix models as well. So if you have one of those scopes, you can apply the same principles. Basically how it works is on the main turret body, there is a metal protrusion, and then on a lock ring, which attaches to the moving part of the turret, there's a second uh, protrusion, and those two butt up against each other. We'll show you in a moment, but it's very simple and it works well. To access the zero stop mechanism, you first have to remove the turret housing. These are tool free turrets. We've designed them so that you don't need any tools to actually remove the housing itself. So you simply unscrew the lock ring on top, take your turret housing off, and that exposes the zero stop mechanism directly below. To remove the zero stop mechanism or to lift it up, which you will have to do if you are zeroing your rifle scope anyway, you'll need a 1.5 millimeter Allen key, which is included with all of our rifle scopes. So you should already have one. The Allen key simply loosens your three hex screws equidistant around the zero stop ring. And with these three hex screws loosened, you can either remove your zero stop completely, or you can simply lift it up and tighten it down again. If you want to zero your scope without it stopping where your turret moves. With your zero stop removed from the equation, you can fit your turret housing back on. You can do all the zeroing you need to do. And then you can take it off again and you can fit your zero stop wherever you need it to be. Now, some people like their zero stop to be at the zero so that it stops on zero. Some like the zero stop to be a little bit back, let's say five clicks down from zero. If you want it five clicks down from zero, you're gonna want to have your turret already set on that value before you lift it off and set the zero stop. That's gonna enable you to, if you need to hold under, if you wanna dial under, you can come a little bit back from zero, but it means you're still gonna be able to stay on the same revolution. So that's your choice. So now you wanna set your zero stop. This is where it gets a little bit tricky because you have to follow instructions quite carefully. Essentially, you take your zero stop ring with the pin facing downwards, if you're using the Element Nexus model and Anyway, actually, if you're using the Titan and Helix, there's a slight variance in design. You slide it over, you turn it clockwise until the pin butts up against the pin on the, the turret assembly itself. You want it to also be as far down as it can possibly go. So all the way down, all the way clockwise, butting it up against the pin, and then you're gonna take your 1.5 millimeter Allen key, and you're gonna tighten it down right there, holding it in place while you tighten it so that it can't move. You don't need to over tighten these screws. I wouldn't even tighten hard so that you can feel it pressing in. Remember this is brass on the inside, this main turret pillar, so you could damage it. You want it to just bite in enough so that it can't move. And with those three tightened, you can go ahead and slip your turret housing back on and test it. You should be able to dial it up and slam it fairly hard down. You'll be able to hear it butting up against the zero stop mechanism and it should line up perfectly. And if it works, then you're all done. Last thing to do, fit your locking cap back on so that the turret housing can't slide off. And there you go, there's your zero stop set. One important note before we bring this one to a close, if something doesn't feel right, don't force it. The scope is made to take a fair amount of torture, but in the turret assembly especially, there are some very finely machined parts, and if you slam it or force it or torque it down too much, then there's a good chance you can damage something. If you need assistance, rather contact us directly. We'd be very happy to help. 
Remember that this information is also available in the user manuals for all these models. The user manuals can be downloaded from our website as well. And we're gonna keep these educational videos coming. So if you haven't subscribed already to our channel, go ahead and do that. And if you wanna tag us on, uh, on social media or use the hashtag see it, send it, we'd love to see what you're up to. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.